What's up guys, welcome back to your brand new video. Today is the one year mark of the Platinum and I together and I figured to go ahead and make a nice little review and the pros and cons of having one and uh, talk about my ownership experience with this old Ford F-150. So yes, to start off, this is my 2018 Ford F-150 Platinum. Absolutely love the truck. It's been very, very good to me so far. Um, only a few things that have gone not so well. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about those things first, get them out of the way. Let's go ahead and talk about this Coyote motor. Uh, this is the Gen 3 Coyote from 2018 and up. Um, people say they're pretty much bulletproof, and for the most part they are. Um, but when I first got this truck in November of 2022 last year, um, for some reason I would like drive it fine, I'd get on it, no lack of power, right? But I would get to a red light, and for some reason the truck would like rough idle or, and stutter, and then sometimes even shut off. Well, <laughs> six trips to the dealership later, um finally it's been fixed um the service manager first told me it was my battery so they gave me a, a free like 200 something dollar battery which was cool but it obviously wasn't that i don't know how that man made it the service manager but besides the point um thought it was coils uh thought it was injectors thought it was the fuel thought it was so many different things turns out it was the vvt solenoid which controls the uh, variable valve timing of the camshaft and somehow or another that got out of whack so the fifth time i took it to the dealership they reset it and then the sixth time i took it to the dealership they replaced it and here we are um i haven't really noticed anything wrong with it now occasionally occasionally um the truck will like kind of like this is stutter for like a half a second i know a lot of people with 5.0 motors and apparently they just do that um, but when I first got it, like I said, it was like really bad rough idling and, and shutting off and stuff at red lights. And yes, I had auto start stuff turned off. Um, but yeah, eventually it got fixed after nine months of ownership and six trips to the dealership. They finally fixed it and uh, it's been a great truck ever since. There was one more thing wrong with this truck though when I first got it. Um, the moonroof got stuck. Um, so they had to replace the rails, and apparently that's just a very common issue with Ford F-150s that have moonroofs, lariats, and up, and some XLTs if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, they just replaced the railing, and it pretty much fixed the problem. So to start off, my number one pro about this Ford F-150 is it's a platinum. I mean, if you want the 5-liter motor, you can't get it any any higher trim than this. Uh, limited, they give you the 3.5 high output. Raptor, they give you the 3.5 high output, and then the Raptors are now getting superchargers, I believe. Um, but you can't get this 5 liter anywhere, and like I said before, it's pretty much bulletproof, except for mine had that rough idling issue, which eventually got fixed. Um, but now, this motor is so, so good. Uh, I also have it paired with this JLT cold air intake, as well as the Borla Attack exhaust, and being a platinum being the five liter it's everything that i've wanted the truck is two-wheel drive and yes i have it on these toyos leveling kit whatever trucks two-wheel drive it's quick i mean this is pretty much the quickest truck on the street reasonably if you don't include like trx's and stuff like that like six twos uh silverados and gmc sierras l uh <laughs> ram five sevens major l like nothing is beating this truck in just a regular street race, just run of the mill, you know. Um, I've even walked five, seven challengers and chargers in this thing. Continuing the trend with it being a platinum, you get these premium seats, heated steering wheel, heated and cooled front seats, massaging, back seats are heated. You get this moon roof, which I sort of love and hate. Um, when I first got the truck, I limousined out the windows. I mean, the windows are just pure black, but the guy that I got the windows tinted by, he asked me, he goes, hey, do you want me to tint, you know, your roof? And I was just like, tint my roof? I mean, that, I thought it was like a waste of money, you know, it was like 200 bucks. Like, that's a waste of money. I can just close this, right? Wrong. <laughs> it's not a waste of money. And eventually I will go back and get that done because sometimes I feel like having the moon roof open and it's just so ungodly hot here in South Florida that I can't. I have to have this closed for it to be even remotely cool in here, even with the windows all the way around limousine tinted. If I have this moonroof shade open, it gets really, really hot in here. Moving on to more things I love about my F-150 Platinum. It's got to be how comfortable this thing is and how roomy this thing is. Don't ask why I have a clothes hanger here. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> hopping in the back here, 
the seats go up. If the, the F models are the only ones that have this flat uh, floor liner, which is very convenient. And I mean, this is pretty much what I use it for every single day. Like here, I've got my camera bag, got my tool bag, a jacket, because it's somehow it's starting to get somewhat cool-ish in Florida. Not really, but somewhat. Uh, daily sun visor, got some extra towels and a machete. Like back here, it's so comfortable. And the whole truck makes you feel like that. Like it's a very, very comfortable open truck. Um, before I bought one of these, I always thought like the Fords were like squared off boxy trucks and to an extent they are kind of um, like they feel like kind of boxy but that box is so big like it's a very very big cabin and I love how like open and roomy it feels inside of here. And the last thing that we'll wrap up with the pros are kind of a two in one. The work capacity slash daily drivable of this truck is just like none other i mean the f-series definitely has the highest like tow capacity weight capacity ratings of all the models not this truck specifically um but i've definitely used this truck for more things than i probably should have i've definitely done some very sketchy dump run loads with this thing with a ratchet strap holding everything down so the truck does what it's supposed to it has some bed lights back here it's got the spray in tough liner from the factory so the truck is very like work capable um a lot of people will think oh like you know the boss shows up in platinums and stuff whatever platinum owners don't work well while the xlts are for the working boys yeah but in my circumstance the platinum is just overall good for me sometimes i have clients inside of here and i don't want them to sit on you know cloth interior seats so having the platinum for everything that i do for work is just fantastic now let's dive into what I've done to this F-150. So the day that I bought this, I pretty much dumped like two grand immediately, like the day I got it. I booked an appointment for the windows. I got WeatherTech's ordered online. I ordered a two and a half Moto Fab leveling kit. I installed the JLT cold air intake and I got the Borla Attack exhaust. I'm so sorry guys for what you're about to hear. Um, I've got to use the mic down here just so you guys can get a better uh, audio clip. Let's go with that. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the video of my one year ownership review. Sort of a pros and cons, sort of what I've done to the truck so far, but this is just my overall last year experience with this thing. But I recommend it to you. Yes, if you can afford the fuel for a five liter every single week, spending 150 plus, definitely go out there and get one. Um, but yeah, it's been a great truck. I would definitely recommend it to anybody out there if you're you know, in the market looking for one. So with that being said, go ahead, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe for more content. Guys, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers before the end of the year. I know the stay tuned family guys, you guys can do it. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Peace. I'm just fucking rambling. I need to shut the fuck up.